Well, hello there again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Uh, something looks a little, um, well, familiar, doesn't it? Well, what could this be? I'll give you a clue. It's from a movie, and it's uh, basically the same shot of the start of that movie, except we seem to be in something a little, uh, a little more than just a camera here. Welcome back to Space Engineers. As I fly through some of the user-created stuff from the workshop, say hello to the uh, Imperial Star Cruiser of Death, and, of course, uh, one of the TIE Fighters from Star Wars. That's right. Check it out. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Somebody made this. I've just downloaded it. I'll uh, give credits down below in the uh, description and everything. But, man, is this sweet. Look at that. Whoa. Flying hunk of cheese. That's right. So, again, the weapons don't work. I can't blow anything up. But, damn, is this community up to some crazy stuff. Um, we're going to crash everything, rest assured. So we'll get on that. Now, of course, the star... Uh, destroyer here, as it's, I believe, officially called. Uh, nothing to ram it into, no asteroids around, that's why I built uh, in not a blank room. Well, actually, maybe there is something to crash into. I don't see anything. But anyway, we gotta give it a tour, so anyway, there's the TIE Fighter. I don't know, I don't really know much about Star Wars, so I don't know if it's a TIE Fighter, you know, type I or E or anything like that, but some of you would know, so I'll uh, look it up if I can and let you know down below in the description. But anyway, I think the best way to get into this thing, and look at all the detail, that's just really cool, uh, would be to go back under where there seems to be a little port underneath for entry. So we'll do that now. And this thing really maneuvers perfectly. I mean, this is just the perfect little craft. And uh, we'll hop right up inside, take a tour of the ship, and fly around a little bit and see what we can see. You know, there doesn't look like there's any landing gear to this. So we'll just hop out here and uh, fly on in. And uh, we were probably supposed to park over there somewhere, but that's all right. Anyway, I'm assuming the um, the bridge or the command dock is not this way, but uh, towards back the other side. I thought there'd be more to the ship. I thought there'd maybe be crew quarters or something. So, oh, am I dressed up like Darth Vader? Oh, my God. Rap Vader, baby. That's right. All right. So, uh, Darth, Darth Raptor? Rap Vader? I don't know. You decide. So, there's some uh, parking lanes there for each one of the uh, ships. I assume you copy and paste the... Oh, a little bit of damage here. Whoopsies. Um, but, uh, we'll find our way up to the top, and, uh, I think, oh, you know what, I bet that's what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to use our jet packs, and, uh, there you go, transport tubes of some sorts, so we'll find out where the control is for this thing, jeez, it's really empty in here, but again, it's more of an aesthetic design, and, uh, definitely cool, that is for sure, um, let's see, of course, by the way, what better to build than all of your favorite spacecrafts from the movie, uh, for, from the movie business, you know, of course, you've got Star Trek, Star Wars, you've got EVE Online, I should say video games, of course, are included. Uh, we'll go ahead and go through the Normandy. There's some defense turrets there. Um, I like to not be in first person, but third person, just because it kind of looks cooler. But anyway, uh, we'll find our way there. This is the control station there. So there's our uh, there's where we're going to drive. Uh, up here is um, pretty much where Darth Vader looks out, like a pimp. Yeah, that's right. That's where I belong. All right, cool. So, anyway, since we're dressed up like Vader, a um, lot of different ways to control the ship. I like how there's different terminals. It would be really cool if we could control, um, wow, those big engines? Holy crap. Let's see the uh, stats of this big boy. Go ahead and uh, fire it up. 36 million kilograms. Oh, my God. Reactors, 80,000 gigawatts. 435 thrusters. Dampeners on. Gyroscopes, 110. So, we'll see how uh, nicely she happens to turn hopefully <laughs> gotten a long way from that little ship down there so let's fire this up holy crap what is that a strobe light party down there it's lagging the hell out of the computer that's awesome look at it fire up oh there's all, all small ones oh there goes our little ship get out of the way that caused absolutely no damage so that's it that's the star destroyer and man i can't believe it's lagging out of the computer of course with uh, some refinement, she'll get a little better, and uh, the game is uh, on its way to doing some incredible things due to the community and the workshop. Of course, if you want to check out this workshop, uh, check it out on Steam, download Space Engineers, and see what she's got. Right now, we were like traveling just at 40 meters per second, but I don't think this has a light drive or anything, and I don't know if they plan to do that in the future. But that's it, and I uh, just wanted to give you guys that nice little showcase, and until next time, get your, uh, I guess keep your password and pimp hand strong and get your ass to Mars? Yeah, okay. All right. Bye, guys. Yes. Dark side.